Vai. Che fatto? Oh. No, don't tickle me. No, I told you I can't see you when you tickle me. Michael. Woo! Oh. Oh. My knee. Ah, oh, look at my knee. The most perfect in Sicily. So why didn't the owner get invited to your going away party? Hmm? Ah, oh, Sofia Palooza isn't good enough to meet your father, your brothers, huh? Right. You're gonna meet him now. This minute, back on the bicycle. Like this, in my working clothes. I can't meet your parents like that. What would they think? That you are the most beautiful creature in the world. And to prove it, I have something for you. What? What is it? Open your mouth. Wide. Wider. Ah. <laughs> for such a long, long time. I'm afraid I'm gonna lose you. I am. Take care of me. Promise me I'll be a wife. Promise me. Michael. Sophia. Promise me. And open the gate. Leave the car here, please. All right. Wait in the car, Lenny. Your nose is running. Ah, uh, yeah, look okay? Cigar. 
Never smoked one of these without it reminding me of my father. First memory as a kid. And when he kissed me, you know, he always smelled of Cubans. He had one in his hand. You know, just the day before he died. Just wheezing his lungs out, you know, behind an oxygen mask. I says to him, Hey, Papa, don't you think it's time you quit? It's for you, he says. It's all you get in Pietro. They voted Roberto to take over the family. I loved your father very much. And you got all this from washing his damn car to becoming his driver, his bodyguard, his right hand. Just bowing and scraping. You'd have wiped his rear end if he asked you to. I've always treated you like a brother. Then as a brother, give me access to the Luciano docks and tankers, and I'll show you money. Papa. Excuse me. Constantino. Here, boys, come on. Come on in. I have company from New York. You remember Pietro Carolla, my son Federico, my son Alfredo, Excuse my that. son Constantino. Sir. And this, uh, this is my son, Michael. He's going to Harvard tomorrow. <laughs> okay, go, go. I'm not there, that's all. Die, die, die. You're a lucky man. Very handsome and healthy sons. So, Don Luciano, what is your answer? The answer is no. Narcotics are the most lucrative money-making. You're his high-powered attorney, Domino. You tell him. I won't hold you to the Luciano family. You have your freedom and that's it. Do you understand me? And I'm warning you, Pietro. You stay out of Palermo. If you try drug running from here... Don't you threaten me. This brother crap is over. Finito! Just remember, I offered to remain your friend. Be careful. Michael will be alone in America. For Michael, there's a special providence in the fall of a sparrow on your first year at Harvard University. Mom. Hmm. Uh. Your skin is so soft. This time tomorrow you'll be gone. Mama, don't cry. Give me that perfect smile. <laughs> oh, vita mia. Oh, wait a minute. You walk here. German. You're reading it in German, Giorgio? <laughs> How about that? My wife died giving birth to a brain, huh? Look, you keep taking care of him for as long as need be now. But like always, he gets no visitors. See. Si. Here. Here. Take this here. I don't want anybody to know how sick my son is. Grazie, signor Carola. Yeah. Thank you for your generosity. Hey, wait a minute. Giorgio. Your book. Took you so long. Taking confessional, were you? Uh, maybe I was praying. Let's go. Come on, Lenny. Michael, when you're in America, I want you to be very, very careful. No, oh, Papa, not again. Listen to me. I want you to take care of. See, Papa, I will take great care. You call your mother every week, you write. If you need something special, you call me. Si, Papa. I think all you're banning, Michael. I think all you're banning, Papa. 
Good night. See you in the morning. down. Do you know what time it is? I can't. <laughs> Come down, Sophia, please. Shh. Oh, shame. Uh, 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 I waited all night for you. Come down. Death to us part. Really? <sighs> hey, Michele. Michael. Remember me? Peter. Peter Corolla. You want to ride? Hey. You going towards the Villa Rosa, Senor Corolla? <laughs> I am now. Come on. and notes, nothing. No one saw him leave the villa? I don't understand this. I don't understand. I put him to bed last night. I've got every man out searching. We've questioned everyone. I've got a watch on the, on the dock and at the airport. He must still be in Palermo, no? Then you will find him. Oh. Oh. Mar Senor Moreno, please. Please help me. If it's money you want, I beg you, get the boy out of here. In the cellar. Hide him down there. <clears throat> Nobody forces Luciano. If he finds out any one of us is involved, he will start a war. Then we must act together. Give him back his son. He saw our faces. The boy knows us. We can't send him back. Castellano, the hell are we going to do? Moreno, you got an answer? We get you out of Palermo, back to New York, and dispose of Michael Luciano. Signora, I came as soon as I was told the news. I have every one of my people making inquiries. Be strong. He will be found safe and quickly. Roberto. Where's Corolla? He's in New York. He could not have had any connection to your son's disappearance. Roberto, please call the police. Roberto, please. I will bring Michael home. It's not your business. Oh, no, no, no. 
No, 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 his mother can't see him like this. Go, go, get out, get away. This day, our lives will change forever. We swear an oath that Corolla will pay for the murder of your beloved brother, my son. Blood calls to blood. Sango polazango. Swear. Sango polazango. was my son, too. Well? At last, they've traced the car. It was rented. By who? An American, Lenny Jackson. And who does Lenny Jackson work for? Carola. If you want him, Roberto, you must have the organization's no. approval. No. No. This I do myself. Enough of this. I don't know what we're going on about here. I wasn't even in Palermo when your son was killed. I have a right to justice. You got no rights to put a hit on me? Quiet. No one can act without the organization's permission. There can be no vendetta. You are to stay out of New York. In time, if you consider giving Corolla access to your docks, the organization will accept your presence here. I'll stay out of New York. But if this pig sets one foot into Palermo, I'll kill him. I swear to God, I'll rip his heart out with my own hands. You have no proof of Corolla's involvement. If Lenny Jackson is alive, and then I'll have the proof. <laughs> Assassino. You had better find him before Luciano, because if he traces him, there will be an all-out war. I've traced them. My mother died just after I came here. I know my aunt won't let me stay. I don't have a place to live. And uh, the father, does he take responsibility? He doesn't know he's in America. And his family's very important. But he loves me. Well, there is a convent in Caliente. I'll see if I can find work for you there. Grazie, padre. Grazie. to be delivered to the dormitories. Sick? No, it's just the heat, sister. 
You should be thankful. You have a roof over your head and work to provide for you and your child. Sisters of mercy, sono tutte cafone. <laughs> As soon as this baby is born, I'm out of here. Oh. Oh, grazie. Oh. Oh. You should get out of here, too. If I have your baby adopted, you'll both be better off. So who's the father? Come on, tell me. Why is it such a secret? Are they rich? Yeah? So don't be dumb. Demand I give you money. I'm not begging like a washerwoman. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> How are you going to support the little bastard? You need money. Money you do not have. So you have to figure out a way. I will. I'm not oh. going to give up my baby. No. Well, Michael Luciano is the father of my baby from Palermo. His father is Don Roberto Luciano. <laughs> no, Sofia. It can't be. It's true, he loves me. He wants to marry me. <laughs> You're gonna marry him in a mausoleum, no? <laughs> he is dead, Sophia. Months and months ago. <laughs> oh, God! Sophia! Oh, God! Sister! Oh, oh no! Oh. Sister! Oh. Sofia Paluzzi. I wish to speak to Don Roberto Luciano. I was to be Michael's wife. Michael loved me. This is his child. I have a very important matter to discuss with you, Don Luciano. I mean, I need money. I need money to provide for Michael's child. Your blood. Require no domestics. I need to get inside. There's something of great importance I need to discuss with Don Luciano. No. Wait, hey, don't touch me. I said, come on. Let's Wait. go. Get out of here. What's your name, dear? Sofia Paluso. How are you? 
This is my mother, C Grazia Luciano. Doctor says you have no broken bones, just some bad bruises. Do you have a headache? for her to leave. Perhaps it's time Tina got married. I'm surprised you would even contemplate a thing like that with Michael still warm in his grave. It's been a year. Roberto, we need to make our family strong. By allowing him to marry a illegitimate domestic servant who made her living by scrubbing floors in a convent? What? Why, are you surprised? Did you really think I would let a stranger come into my house without checking where she came from? She's nothing. She has nothing. Think back, Roberto, when we first met. My family disapproved of you, but we still married. My father said almost the same words. He's nothing. He's got nothing. Worse, he's mafioso. He said that. Hmm? She's brought light into Tino's eyes. She's given him confidence when he had none. He's too afraid to ask you himself. We could use the wedding. You still haven't been granted justice for Michael's murder. Fight the men who refuse to give you Carola. Make them think we forget. Make them think the vendetta's over. We, the family, know it's not. And we can wait. And then they turn to her and she'd be all docile and proper. And she'd say, oh, no, no, no. All I was doing was saying my Hail Marys and how fortunate I am to have a roof over my head. <laughs> At the comment, there were lots of girls like her. Sophia, Constantino, listen. No, please. I I'm, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. You first. Please. You have such a lovely smile. You look just like him sometimes. Who, my father? No, your brother. Constantino, I have to tell you something. I'm in love with you. What? But I'm afraid you'll leave the villa and I'll never see you again. <laughs> no, please, please. Constantino, please. listen. Let me... Finish. Now, you must know, the Luciano family, we, my brother. Michael. Constantino, Michael was, was wasn't murdered Michael. because of what my family was and what we still are. Constantino! Constantino! You know that she has no family, that she's an illegitimate domestic servant. Do you want her? Do you want him? Don't you think you should talk to your son? It doesn't depend on him, Sophia. It depends on his father. I don't know him. Then I'll rephrase the question. Can you love him? Constantino's shy. He's innocent in so many ways. So unlike his father. Tomachano exploded into my life, Sophia. Such a passion, such a dangerous past. He scared me. He ignited my soul with such love that if we'd been parted, I couldn't have lived. Constantino's different. But he's Don Luciano's heir. Marry him, Sophia. 
One day all this could be yours. Uh, and my sons. I'm sorry, Sophia. You have made no contact and you know the rules. Three months. Your son has been adopted. He has been found a good home. Begin your life again, Sophia. It's best for you and for the child. Sophia. Welcome to the Luciano family. No, it's not an omen. It's not, it's not an omen, believe me. Did we get married? I said I'd do, but did you? Did I say it? Three, no, four times. Sophia Luciano. Don't be dumb. Go get him. And Carmen. Don Montanero. Joe. <laughs> Don, Don uh, Puccini. Papa. Say. What? Where are you going? Sophia and Carmen, come out and meet all the wives. This is my new daughter, Sophia. Oh, Sophia, this is Anna Maria Scorpian. Teresa! <laughs> Hello. Beautiful wedding. She's not too happy. Didn't want to leave college. But I said, you gotta be here. It's a big occasion. What are you studying, Teresa? Oh, I'm studying law. <laughs> She's gotta be a lawyer. Well, hopefully. <laughs> Ana Maria, I want to introduce you to the professor. Oh, yes, yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Don't mind my mother. She says one thing and then she means another. Just that ever since my father died, she can't think of anything better than marrying me off. Really? Not that there's anything wrong with marriage. I mean, nice dress, but what a price you pay, huh? I mean, marriage and babies. Ugh. Excuse me. Everybody's so snooty. Nobody will talk English to me. It's because we're in Italy. Non capisco, non capisco. They don't even know how to make a margarita. Thank you. Don't worry, you don't have to take a glass every time a waiter passes. They keep offering. Hey! Hey, where are you going? Just stay put. I have to talk to Don Luciano. Oh, great. No more. You can't tell me what to do. This is an insult. Let's be patient. My informants have told me that after accepting your generous gift, the committee will agree to your purchase of the casino. Now, I have all the documents showing that the turnover in Atlantic City is on par with Vegas. It's a very lucrative investment, one with no opposition. This could be the beginning. Good. You did very well. Papa. I should go to Sophia now. You have her the rest of your life. Mario, send them in. Gentlemen, fine. Scoot. Sophia, come and kiss the baby on your wedding day. It's always lucky. 
What have you called him? Michael. Look, he already has two teeth. He's so much like his papa. It's okay. Hi. Hi. swore an oath on the head of his own son. He had nothing to do with Michael's death. He traced Lenny Jackson, who admitted that he murdered your son because he wanted to cause a war between you and Carolla. Kid was a punk. This is Carolla's wedding gift to you. Open it. For this, a truce. This was given in good faith. Corolla is now a very powerful man. Why make him your enemy? I will not have narcotic trade in Palermo. Corolla can peddle his filth somewhere else. And you can tell him for me that it's not personal, not anymore. I don't want the feds here. We have a good, if uneasy alliance, and no amount of bribes will keep them from breathing down our necks if Corolla is here. My answer is no. It was no then, and it's no now. You understand? My sons will show you up. Oh, it's your bride. She's crying and crying. She won't stop. Dove? She's back there in, in the living room thingy. Grazie. All right. Costantino! Costantino! Mama wants you! You the bride and groom gotta cut the cake! Where you go? He's gonna be mad! Hey, who are you? I was invited. Yeah, with Nicky Diamond, right? Yeah, that's right. And he's gonna be mad at me. No, 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 he won't be mad. I promise he won't be mad. Just, just stay here and talk to me. Okay. What's your name? Moira. Hey, Moira. And I know who you are. You do? <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I'm flattered that you know who I am. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, uh, you like champagne? Oh, sure. Don't mind if I do. I like it, too. It's an awfully big bottle. Oh, I'm sure you can take all of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not the size of the bottle, but the top of the cork really matters. <laughs> The bride and groom are leaving. I was sent to find you. Where you been? I've been looking all over for you. You missed it. I just got lucky. <sighs> you know what lucky is? You didn't. Oh, I did. With Nikki Diamond's girl. <laughs> she didn't. <laughs> yes, she did. And maybe, just maybe, she's going to do it again. Did you see the wedding gift? No, what is it? I think it was on the bridal registry. It's Lenny Jackson's hand. <laughs> now my new suit. Thanks. Thanks. Right. Mrs. Scorpio? She's a widow. She retains a large section of the New York docks. I think by the sound of it, they're virtually bankrupt. Thanks, Ray. I know she came for assistance a couple of months ago. I'll buy her out. That would be number Thank necessary. You. Thanks. Thanks for I think she'd prefer a wealthy son-in-law to a business transaction. Hold on, everybody. The bride and the groom's on their way. On their way. Hey, Mama. The bride and the groom are coming down. Come on. Federico. What? I want you to meet a nice girl. What? Teresa Scorpia. 
No, no, mama. No, mama. No, mama. Ah. Teresa. Our second son. Hi. Okay, I've been trying to get this cheap son of a bitch to marry me. No, Mama. I mean it. No. <laughs> we got to keep the kitchens open 24 hours a day. You never know when some high rollers are going on a five-course meal. Plus, we got the girls changing rooms on this side and that side. We got 68 girls in the day shift, 112 in the evening shift. You got how many? 112. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, hey. You, you okay? Hey, I'm... It's you. Yeah, it's you. <laughs> I uh, hope you keep your eyes up when you're working, Mora. Oh, yes. I sure do. They got security cameras that can count the fillings in your teeth. <laughs> oh, you know what? You should come and play at my table. I'm number 15. 21. It's my table. What? The Lucianos are the new owners of the Rose Casino, Moira. Oh. No offense, Mr. Luciano. None taken, Moira. Look, I might take you up on that offer, table 15, right? Hey. Goodbye. You go to New York, I'm staying here. I can't back out. Papa's arranged the deal. You're supposed to marry Teresa Scorpia. I ain't marrying nobody. I don't care if they got the Statue of Liberty attached. Look, Papa says we need the Scorpia docks. You want to please Papa so much, huh? Well, you go to New York instead. I got a date. What's wrong? You food okay? Oh, no, yeah, no, it's fine. It's just... You sure? I'm, I'm a little bit nervous, that's all. About what? Um, Nicky Diamond? Oh, no, Nicky, that creep. No, I finished with him months ago. He's got no class. He's not like you. Freddy. Yeah? I admit that I have been with other men. I mean, not that many, because I'm not that kind of girl, but... Yeah, I know that. <laughs> I've never been so... I want you again. I want you now. And then when I was 16, my father he wanted me to marry this creep who worked in the warehouse, you know, just so he would have grandchildren. So, um, how old are you now? I'm 25. I'm on the shelf, as my mother says. But I'm happy there. I mean, I want to graduate, and I want to make something of my life. What about you? I work in my family's import-export division, but uh, I'm, I'm not very happy. You see, my, my brother Michael was the smart one. <laughs> All my life, my father doted on Michael. And he died. I've always been in, in competition with him. It's worse now. Because he's dead, it, it makes him even more special. You know, I know what you mean. I had a brother, and he died when I was two. And all my life, it was, you know, Fabio would have been this, or Fabio would have been that. And sometimes I just wanted to scream, you know, I'm not Fabio. I'll never be him, I'm just me. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I'm not Michael. I never was him, and I can't be him. <laughs> what? 
Okay. Hey, don't I get applause? Come on. I wish the happy couple wealth, health, and happiness. And I am proud to be associated with the Luciano family. Oh. Thank you. Thank you for organizing for a banter to come to New York. It was Carola who agreed. Time heals, Signora. Some things time cannot be. So, when are you going to present the Lucianos with a grandson? Oh, uh, we're not in any rush, Mrs. Squire. Sorry. Do you know what it's like? Every woman you ask me, your mother asks me almost on a daily basis. Sophia. You know? Sophia. I don't. Me, your husband, I, I'm the only one you should ask. a whore to your bed. You don't make her a guest at your brother's wedding. What the hell is wrong with you? Well, I met her at Constantino's wedding. Listen to me, you. You might be the boss of the Luciano Casinos, but don't you ever forget who's the head of this family. Me! You understand? Me! Scusi, Pop. I'm sorry. Now get back in there, say hello to your mama, dump the tramp, and we'll all enjoy the celebration. So is Alfredo gonna stay here in New York? Yes, he is. We now own all the Scorpio holdings, all their docks and their warehouses, and we begin direct import to the United States. And your mother has found a nice girl for you, and this time you don't refuse. You don't refuse. No, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. We just got here. I'm get, having a good time. Get, I like it here. Get your ass here. out of the chair. Don't you talk about my ass like that. You, you keep, keep your voice down. Get your ass up and get no, the let go of my arm. Let go of my arm. The hell with you. I'm you, saying you, right you, here. You, what did I say? I said, oh, you, you, I look like a fool. I'll make you look like a fool. You don't want me to stab it. Stab it. Introduce me to your friend. Yeah, go up, Sophia, Frederick, this and tell is Morton. Morton, Morton, this is Sophia. No, Frederick, go tell him who I really am. I'm his him. wife. Oh, and there's no way I'm going to have this baby without making the whole damn Luciana family pay for it. Don't be standing there. Get a doctor. There's got to be a doctor in this damn place. Breathe, 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 Like we learned, like we learned, breathe. So anyway, it was murder on my back, being dancing in high heels all day long. And so I said to myself, I said, Mara, you got to get yourself another career. A croupier? Oh, no, no, no. I, I was a barmaid, but, huh. Oh. That was hard on my back, too, because, you know, I was on my feet all day long, and so... And then after that, I worked in a poodle parlor, which, that was fun, except for 
Some of them poodles are vicious. I had to give it up. I mean, everybody knows that I'm married to Federico, don't they? Federico spoke to Mama. He did. He isn't going to divorce me now, is he? No. No, shh. I know you want a baby, too, because Constantino and all that, but I had a son, and he was perfect in every way, except he just wasn't breathing. Where's Freddy? Is he going to go be with me now? He's going to get rid of me, isn't he? Because I didn't have the baby. <laughs> what did Papa say? Well, he, uh... You know, you're going to have to talk to him yourself. Work it out. Mama? You should go to her. Thanks for coming. Why did he have to marry her, for God's sakes? What a mess. If her son had lived, she would have been accepted. Is that what you mean? No. Huh? I didn't mean that at all. What I meant was, she isn't exactly what someone would describe as the most suitable woman to marry. Well, nor was I. Was I? I, I can't even manage to get pregnant. Well, I want a son more than you'll ever know. I want my son. I want my son. I'm so sorry, Signora. His adopted parents were distraught. He disappeared. Ground six months ago, and now the carabinieri have called off the search. They believe the morto. Sophia. Hey, you all right? No, I'm not. There's something I have to tell you. And are you? So you said you wanted to open a boutique, right? Design clothes, that's what you want to do. But Papa... Papa has agreed. It'll take your mind off of everything. Sophia, listen to me. You're a very beautiful person. You have a beautiful soul. I love you. With or without a son. hysterical when they took that from him. Tried to swallow it. More than likely stolen. Beloved. I doubt if the poor boy knows what the word means. He has been in 12 institutions since he was first found. The doctor said he, uh, he has been abused. He's had internal injuries, ribs broken. His arm was dislocated. He's like a wild animal. We have 18 boys, Antonio. This boy will require a lot of attention. And we also have Giorgio Corolla. Father, we have to give him a, a chance. This might be his last. Very well. Bring him in. Did you steal this? No, go the devil. You may have it in return for telling us your name. What is your name? Ah! Luca, Luca. Devil? 
quite possibly. But a rather infirm one. Luca! Luca! Uh, mind my legs, mind my legs. Short they may be, but I don't want them broken. Luca! Quick, Luca! Quick, hide under the bed. We have a new boy. Is he in here? No, he wouldn't be in here with me. He'd be too scared like all the others. Thank you. Luca! Luca! You some kind of prisoner? Possibly. But only of my own physical deformities. You not eating? Help yourself. What's that stink in your... You go in your pants. <laughs> no, not today, fortunately. How old are you? Older than anyone anticipated I would ever live to be. Especially my father. How old are you? I don't know. What you got all these books for? I read. You're a gargoyle. I like you, pink face. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's been 10 years, and Luciano ignores the ruling. Now, he was not to do business in the States, but you all allowed his sons to take over the entire Scorpia company, their warehouses and docks. Don Luciano has always explained the reasons for his infrequent visits to America. We could not refuse him. Two of his sons have now married American citizens. He has a granddaughter here, Teresa Luciano's little girl, Rosa. I know his excuses. Just like I know you don't want to get on the wrong side of him now they control three damn casinos and all those gasoline companies. I should have a right to go do our business in Palermo. No. I got a sick boy there. No. Now letting that son of a bitch get away with murder. You were the one who got away with murder. Corolla must be controlled. Our informants in the FBI say he is a marked man. And not just in the United States. Constantino's wife running a shop. A boutique. Okay, boutique. Boutique. Buongiorno a tutti. Come state? Tutti bene? Maria, turn up the radio. Buongiorno. And uh, Jose, can you make us some coffee? And uh, the rest of you take a break. Very nice, Sophia. Very nice. I think you should begin to export. I'll make all the arrangements. I'm not ready to export, Papa. I have a great designer, Raimondo Bavino, to assist me. But I need seamstresses. I need... So we'll talk to Constantino. <sighs> Raimondo, come. Da Roberto Luciano a signora Luciano. Buongiorno. Buongiorno, baby, come stai? Buongiorno. Hello. Here are our first collections. Our first collection? What does that mean? Do you have a partner? No, it's just it, we work very closely together, that's all. Oh, okay. That's good. E tu? No. We'll talk again. Call my lawyer. Yeah. There's also something I have to tell you. I'm pregnant. Oh, bravo. Bravo. Oh, they're both 
healthy and This one is Michael. No, that's Noon. This is Robert. Roberto is good. Georgia. <laughs> go on, go on. Where were we? Just what Romeo had done to the apothecary for Julia. Apothecary? <laughs> it's apothecary. Apothecary. Like a, a, a pharmacist shop. But in those days, they used herbs and plants. They were very knowledgeable about poisons. Poisons? Yes. Strychnine. For example, taken in small doses to aid in the digestion, but used in too large a quantity, it would kill. It was a very painful death, worse than arsenic. Where in God's name did you get that, Luca? Well, we get everything, mail order. Charge to your papa. Tell me about the poisons. Strychnine. Nice word. Like music. <coughs> Strychnine. <coughs> Georgia. Yeah. Easy, easy. Deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. That's it, don't gasp. Okay. okay. Easy. Deep breath. I gave poor Corolla permission to visit his son. I couldn't refuse. I go to New York. For weddings and christenings, he comes to Palermo for a few months. Papa, Papa, I don't think we should allow No, 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 no. Just because you let your wife think for you, don't presume to think for me, okay? Mario. Oh, wine, wine, wine. Come here. I love you. This is a day we're all going to remember forever. I'm a very happy man. I want my grandsons close. And my granddaughter, Rosa. Come here. Come here, Rosa. You're beautiful. Oh. You're as beautiful as your mother. Mama, you're making a feast. Baby, what is it? Feast. What is this? It's Papa. a yeah. Tell us some of those stories. So Only if you beg. Come on. Please. 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 I gotta beg. Come on. 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 When did you ever need my permission? <laughs> <laughs> For anything, huh? All right. Many, many, many years ago. Years ago. Oh, many, many years ago. Oh, I think I've heard it. In the, in, the, <laughs> in the back streets of Palermo, there was a little boy. He was so poor. Roberto, he was so poor, he had no shoes. He was so poor, no, so he, had, he had nothing to eat. So he used to steal oranges. One day, the orange farmer caught him. Hey, you up in the tree. I see what you're doing there. No, 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 the little boy said. I'm not stealing oranges. Well, then how come your pockets are so full with everything? And the little boy said, no, 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 my pockets aren't full. I got a great big behind. That's where I inherited it. Oh, the farmer, he got so mad that he chased the little boy until the little boy jumped over the fence. And then the farmer started throwing things. And what do you think the farmer was throwing? Apple. Apple. Lemons. Orange. Where was he? I don't know. I wasn't listening. In an orange field. He threw oranges. Thank you. Wait here. You're going to have to walk the rest of the way, Doc. Remember. 
Remember, Luca is my body. I am his mind. Together we have been one being. You have never been a father to me. I beg you, be one for him. Leave me. Leave me. Can the boy stay with him? Don't get angry. Just listen. Live for me, Luca. You have given me the only joy, the only moments of love I have ever known. I promised I might take care of you. But I intend to keep that promise. I'm going to adopt you. I'm going to give you a, everything he never had. Are you listening to me? Take me to America? Hmm. We'll get on the first plane tomorrow. saw him. You're gonna be my son. You're gonna be Giorgio. Luca. My name is Luca.
You must be Luca. Yes, sir. My father... Don't worry, Luca. Your father has already called from the jail. Sit. He needs assistance. If you know who the witnesses are, they must be taken care of. Yes, sir. Give the names to me. My father has every confidence in my ability. Ability? Yes, Senor Castellano. Be it torture or murder, I will silence any witness against my father. So? You are not adverse to killing? No, sir. <laughs> Don't worry, Luca. It's already in very capable hands. Hmm? Well, you are the boy he's kept hidden all these years. Yes, sir. I am Luca. Luca Giorgio Corolla. Roberto, I'm asking, begging you, as a lifelong friend. Don't get involved any more than you already are. For 20 years, I've wanted to see Corolla dead. At least now he's behind bars. But how long do you think they can keep him there? Without me as a prosecution witness, he'll bribe, threaten, and murder his way out. Think of your family. You can't do this. I've made arrangements to protect them. Possiamo? Sì, sì. Ah, Enzo, come on. This is Enzo Luciano, my cousin's boy. He's to marry Rosa. We'll all be here under one roof. I've made this villa a fortress. Bring every one of them in here with me. You understand me? All the cars have been checked. Baby. Good, good. Did you call the restaurant? Let's call the security. Hey, come over. Come over. I'm going to get you. I think Papa's getting a little paranoid in his old age. Hey, maybe all these guards are out there to keep Enzo from running away from his own wedding. <laughs> Go, go, go. We're going to see Rosa's wedding dress. Okay, good. Come back. Grandpa loves you. Hey, come on. Hey, look at you. 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 Oh, dear. Oh, so it is a dream, guys. Oh, God, I can't believe how happy I am. I love him so much. Thank you, sweetie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs>
tonight we toast them. May you have a uh, good, healthy, productive, productive, <laughs> productive <laughs> union with my dear Fredo's little Rosa. But I have a second toast tonight. One that I've waited a long time to make. To my son, Michael. At last, justice. Salud. Salud. Salud to Michael. Salud. Salud. For Michael. Restaurant so many times, and there's no answer. Graziella, I don't know what to tell you. I'm so sorry. Help me, God. Roberto Federico. E Costantino. All dead. All dead. I warn him. I didn't listen to me. I'm so sorry. Sangue chiama sangue. Now it's my turn.
bella mafia. Remember this. And when those who weep and kiss our hands are the men that killed our loved ones. Lower your veils. You've upset a lot of influential people. And nobody from the U.S. agreed to the butchering of the kids. I swear, I never ordered it. Sincere condolences from Don Luciano's friends in America. Thank you for traveling to Sicily. Scusa. If you want the women to live, have the deeds for other Luciano companies ready for us. Santo cielo. Haven't you taken enough? No. You do as I ask. Or they die next. Deepest condolences. Thank you. Condolences, senor. If you need anything, I'm at your service. He was a good friend. The funeral was like a big parade. You tell Moreno, I gotta get out of here. I'll name names in court if they don't get me out of here. I'm getting death threats. He should have never taken out those kids. He didn't. I did. I did it for you. Papa. <laughs> You're insane. I wish to God I never set eyes on you. Papa, don't talk to me this way. Talk. I curse you. You're not my son. Poor Giorgio. No good to nobody. But at least he had a brain. A brain? A brain! You're gonna know how Giorgio felt. He was trapped in a cell all his life. It's your turn now. Bye, Papa. <laughs> you won't see me again. No, Luca! Luca! Come back! Luca! No, Luca! Come back! Luca! You have power of attorney. Sign. Sign.
about the American companies. I don't have the papers here. I need some time to get them. 24 hours. I'm in the grave with Don Roberto and the children. And there's no room for you. Forgive me. It is I. You must ask your forgiveness. All my life, I've loved you. All my life, loving no other woman but you. I've loved you children as if they were my own. I would have died for you many times over. My dear friend. There are things I've been forced to do. Terrible things. I'm afraid for you now. Mario. are leaving. Oh, great. The servants are leaving. Perfect. All the Palermo companies, they've been merged into some kind of group ownership. And it's headed up by the Castellano Corporation. I mean, my God. They've even taken Sofia's boutiques. What are you telling me? There's millions of dollars missing and we just have to accept it? Why can't we fight it? Let's fight it. Yeah. It's Domino. Papa gave him power of attorney, and he signed over everything. I mean, it's theft. It's blatant fraud. I can't believe that damn lawyer ripped us off. Why would he do this to us? Why don't we just lean on him a little bit? We can go to Papa's friends. Friends? Tell him what, what? What friends? Read it, Moira. Read it for yourself. Every single one of them has a slice of our fortune. OK, all right, fine. We'll just go to Domino or so Sophia. Sophia, Sophia, you'll never guess what happened now. Really lawyer Domino screwed us over. Was dead. Marie Domino's Oh, my. Mama! Ah! 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 What are you doing? Sophia, get the gun from her. Please, Mama, put the gun down. Get out of this place. Get out of it. Mama. Leave, leave, leave. Okay, go, go back to the house, go. All right, I'm going. I'm gonna kill that damn tree. Mama, who are you shooting at? Who are you firing at? Carolla. I think she's gone crazy. It's been too much for her. Been too much for all of us, Teresa. Thank you. Moira. What? Don't give her any more of these. Hit the target yet, has she? Domino paid someone at the courthouse. He's planted a gun underneath one of the spectators' seats. What for? For when Corolla takes the stand. Don't tell me. Mama wants to do it. That does it. I'm out of here. No, you're not. I'm going with Mama to the courthouse. She can't do it alone. I'll come with you. Rosa, no. Look, Sophia, I understand that you want justice. I'll even drive the car, but I won't let Rosa go. Today was supposed to be my wedding day. Don't you tell me what to do. We should all go. There's nothing here that relates to the Luciano companies in America. We had a deal. We kept our side of the bargain. No prosecution witnesses. Not one Luciano alive to come forward. Domino blew his head off before I had a chance. The widows must have the papers. I'll force them to hand them over. Just give me a little time. I can get them for you. You? Be thankful we are protecting you. You're in Castellano's safekeeping out of respect for your father. What about Carola? Hmm? 
He's threatened to denounce all of us in court. Get rid of him. We want the Luciano deal finished. Over. Hi there. You want a ride? No, I'm all right. Beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous. Hot. You want a drink? Sure. Sure. You from America? Yeah, I've been here two days. Yeah, I'm from New York. What's your name? Uh, John Taylor. I'm Luca. Luca Corolla. Cheers. So you a student? Yep. You? I'm a killer. Mafia hitman. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Kill. You don't feel the tragedy of the Luciano family, do you? You just want to put our grief in your television. Non c'è rosa senza spina. What did she say? There's no rose without a thorn. Quantas vidas vive um artista? Quantas vidas vive um artista? Ora é protagonista, outra antagonista, emprestando emoção ao personagem, produzindo nas mentes muitas imagens. É responsável pela tela mental que seu público cria pelo visual. Suas palavras fazem reflexão àqueles que contemplam sua ação. E se com sua emoção e técnica, ele além disso levar Ética, se preocupar em uma bela mensagem que traga esclarecimento, conforto e verdade. Este será o verdadeiro artista de Deus, crescendo e evoluindo pelos irmãos seus, preocupado sempre em se auto-evangelizar, para no espetáculo a luz do amor brilhar. Irradiará assim em cada apresentação energias positivas para a plateia, trabalhando no campo da emoção e da ideia, transformando sua arte em educação, focando na mensagem que é superior a qualquer personagem, eliminando a vaidade e o egocentrismo, buscando nas produções um Cristo-centrismo. E se o artista falar de reencarnação, da lei de ação e reação, do livre-arbítrio bem direcionado, da imortalidade da alma e dos vários mundos habitados. Ah, assim vive ele muitas vidas, mostrando que nossa existência, seja alegre ou sofrida, novas oportunidades sempre cria, pois sairemos dos corpos, mas não sairemos da vida. Poeira das Estrelas da poeira das estrelas somos feitos.
You should have put him in bed. Take him to a hospital. Let them worry about him. Well, you shouldn't have hit him with the car. I think it's wrong for us to be using this room. Look, Rosa, we had to put him somewhere, okay? I don't want him snooping around. Yeah, but this is the baby's room, Moira. It's not right. Rosa, come on. Rosa, please, let him sleep. We called the courthouse. What happened? Mm. Okay. My shot didn't kill him. What? Somebody else did. And they released me. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, Sophia, please. We've got to get to New York. I'm going to check the flights. We're just not safe here. me to see Don Luciano's widow and family destitute, homeless. Homeless? Not content with having taken everything we own, even with the roof over our heads. I will return the Villa Rosa in exchange for other Luciano American holdings. Now, if you refuse... Get out of here, you sons of bitches! You get out and leave us alone! I mean it. I mean it. You clear out of here or so help me God, I'll shoot! It's loaded. Please. Don't play games with me, senor. There's nowhere in Palermo you can hide except my offer. Turn over the rest of your holdings, and you can live out your lives here in peace under my protection. Hey! Rosa is a pretty child. I can arrange a suitable marriage for her. Life will go on if you wish it to. Adiós. What are we going to do now? Well, I think we should take an earlier plane. No, no, no. Something's wrong. Why can't we just get the hell out? I'm not sure I can do another Annie Oakley. My knees are knocking and look. I bruised my finger on the trigger. Shh, be quiet. What? Look, it's obvious Castellano doesn't have the American holdings, but he thinks we do. He, he does. He means the docks and the warehouses, plus we have the gasoline contracts. The casinos. He must want the casinos. Well, you put him in my children's room? I'm sorry. He ran right in front of the car. Search his clothes, find out who he is, and get rid of him. He had a backpack with him. Must still be in the car. Go fetch it. Okay. You see? He had a backpack. He's probably just a student. Airline ticket. His name is John Taylor. He's just traveling. It's a return ticket to New York. There's no need to panic. No need? Right now, the only people we can trust is ourselves. Sophia, it's the police. We'll see to him later. Let's go. Look, Teresa. It was in the backpack. And 
Look, also, there's hundreds of dollars in here, and there's this. This thing, what do you suppose that is? Uh, we're coming. We'll, we'll be right there. Senora Luciano's attempt on Corolla distracted the entire courthouse, enabling the killer to escape. Will she be charged? A Mercedes in your driveway was seen outside the courthouse. My sister-in-law drove us to the courthouse. It's strange, isn't it? Your priority is to find the killer of Corolla, a disgusting animal. My little boy has never harmed anyone. The only crime was to be Don Roberto Luciano's grandsons. He was a man I've been told commanded great respect. Really? But not from you. He failed to protect his family. Yes, he wished to see us. Yes, you were at the courthouse. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. we were. We believe Paul Carolla's killer was dressed as a holy father. Did you see anyone wearing a monk's robe? Um, no. No. <clears throat> No, nothing like that, no. So much commotion. Yeah. Yeah, well, thank you. You're welcome. Please, would you ask Senora Luciano if she would see me first thing tomorrow morning? Yes, of course. Obviously, I must ask that none of you leave Palermo. Whatever connections your family had... Since my children died. Everyone has a right to justice. The Mafia bound by their own laws, they take their own justice. Good afternoon, Commissario. Teresa! Teresa! He's not upstairs. I searched every room. Moira. What? The backpack. It's gone. Oh, my God. We have to tell Sophia. No, no, don't tell Sophia. Why? Well, if he did kill Corolla, what do we care? You're right. We might even congratulate him. This time tomorrow, we'll be in New York. Luca did it. Yes, he shot him in the courthouse. Now, li listen to me. Yes, I know the boy is crazy. I give you my word, he'll be taken care of. That's right. I'll handle it personally if needs be. I'll handle the widows. But I'm telling you, Luca did it. I will personally get rid of him. Yes. I understand. You've been at the Villa Rosa all this time. I don't believe you. I could have killed them all if I wanted to. Would have been easy. Fast. Maybe poison again. You ever read Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet? A few sips, then comes the bellyache. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> no, you are. You got a loud voice in your Castellano. Uh, 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 Trade me. Uh. You're gonna kill me, are you? You're gonna do it personally, are you? with a kiss. say anything to you about the American companies. We can use the American companies. We can use them, Mama. Use them for information. Mama, listen to me. Listen, look at me. Who did Papa trust in America? Who did he trust with important family documents? Who? Oh. Vito. It would be Vito Giancom. He was like Papa. What do you mean, who was he? He was outside the organization. If it was anyone, it would be Vito. I couldn't call him. Let's go to America first, Mama. Let's go. Hey. 
Thank you. Thank you. No, 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 no. I want that. Trusted, and he was the only man in the whole organization who was Papa's friend. Antonio Moreno, will give us some advice? Mama, how many advisors do we need? We already have the Giancama family. Giancama's and in the organization. Vito can tell us what we need. Well, what we want is to run the company ourselves. No, Teresa, what we want is to sell. But we sell under conditions. What conditions? We want the names of the men who ordered the murders. That's the only reason we came here to New York. Well, I'm in it for my cut, okay? Because those casinos are worth millions, and I played my part, you'll have to admit. I mean, it was me with the shotgun, and I got us out of Palermo. What? What, you got nothing to say? Rosa will do whatever I decide. No, I'll do what I want, Mama. Well. This is getting interesting. The gloves are coming off all around. a chance to thank you for taking care of me. Are you still at college? No. No, I'm going to be taking over my father's property business. How old are you, John? 21. How old is Rosa? She's beautiful, isn't she? Grandmama. Please. It's very good. Mmm. That's very good. In fact, that's the best I've ever tasted. Skin is 
so soft. That velvet. Please don't cry. where I had my first date with Alfredo. I don't think I need to hear this right now, Teresa. There he is. Oh. Signora Luciano. This is Teresa, Alfredo's widow. Hello. My son, Michael. Hello, Michael. Michael. Can we offer you some coffee? No, no, thank you. Nothing from you. Uh, you will require Graziella Luciano's signature to open the deposit box. She sends her sincere thanks for protecting our inheritance. Don Luciano was a good man, one greatly missed. Will you help us? In any way I can. We want the names of the men who ordered the murders. For what purpose? Michael. I meant what I said, but what you're asking is impossible because I do not have that information. Even if I did, I would advise you to wait. Perhaps one year, two, then act, but not immediately. It's too dangerous. We thank you for your kindness. We appreciate it. Take care, then, Signora. The vultures are poised. Who's here? You remember John Taylor, the student from Palermo? What do you want? I just wanted to thank you. Oh, you're a cute one, but you don't add up. We checked inside your backpack. Sorry, Sophia. About what? I had all my money stolen at a bar. My cards, everything. And then this guy said I could earn a trip home and $500. All I would have to do is wait in the alley outside the courthouse. I'd be given a parcel to get rid of. I didn't know it was going to involve that, um, what's it? I can't remember his name. Corolla, Peter. Corolla? They told me since I was American, they wouldn't question me. That all I had to do was dump the... The robe. And the gun. The gun. Right. I just took them off this man, and I ran, and, um... The next thing, I woke up at your villa. I wanted to tell you, but then the cops showed up, and, um... I was scared, <laughs> so I ran off. I didn't mean to frighten you by turning up here today. I know you can still have me arrested, but I owe you, and I want to repay you for your kindness. Come to dinner. Dear Lord, we thank you for the food before us and for bringing us together. Amen. Thank you. There are, of course, only copies. We retain the originals. Antonio, before we sign a single contract, we want the names. We want the names of the men who ordered the deaths of the Lucianos. Don Roberto Luciano. Constantino Luciano. Alfredo Luciano. Federico Luciano. Enzo Luciano. And my children. Roberto Nunzio Luciano.
Give me a few days and I'll contact you. Thank you for your trust in me, Signora Luciano. Thank you. Neanche ne sogni. Hey, Johnny Blue Eyes. What do you think of this? I got a bunch of them at Sophia's warehouse. Very attractive, good looking woman like you could have any man she wanted. Oh, is that right? You go for older women then? Why, you like young men? Me, I like them all shapes and sizes. But up until recently, I haven't had the opportunity or the inclination. You think Rosa forgot we arranged to have coffee? Anyone ever tell you you got lovely blue eyes? <sighs> Don't be shy. Now, where's Mama gone? Mama? <clears throat> hey, what's with the Mama, honey? You're not exactly a member of this family yet, even though I know Rosa would like it. Okay, I'll go change. Oh, hi, Rosa. Your boyfriend's been waiting. I warmed him up for you. I wondered if you'd like to have coffee with me. What is it? What's wrong? They're all widows. They don't consider that I was going to be a bride. Did you have a veil? Yes. And a coronet of flowers? Roses. White rose buds with pearls. Sometimes, at night, I... Tell me, go on. I put it on. And I lie down in my bed. Shoes and everything. Like Juliet. Romeo and Juliet. You know Shakespeare? Of course. You write for me? Right, Rosa, just lovely. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> all right. Just that seeing her, it all came back to me. Would Sophia? Clung on to them. Shh. Forget about it. Don't upset yourself. <laughs> Teresa. Talk to me. You know you can trust me. They've got the deeds from the bank. They're going to sell off the Luciano American Holdings. It's all so crazy. They should listen to an intelligent woman like you. Nobody ever gave me any credit. I ran that business for my husband. You should run it again. Well, that's what I want. But we don't have any liquid funds. I have my inheritance. Some money my father saved. I'll help finance you. I would be honored if you would allow me to help. Why? Doing this because of Rosa? What do you want? To be your sleeping partner.
Jeez. Mama. That's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Mama, what if I was able to raise the money to keep the corporations running? You wouldn't live to spend one dollar. Why is that? Because you're nearly 40 and I'm past 60. What's that got to do with anything? I'm still alive. Don't open it. No, no, it's Johnny. I'll get it. Moira. Mama. Um, Mama? Teresa and I have been talking. There's millions in chips in my old apartment. You know, Freddy used to keep them for private high roller games, and, well, we need liquid funds, right? I know how we can get them. Hi! <laughs> 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 what are you doing? <laughs> what do you want? You know what I want. Let her go, you creep! Let her go! Let her go! Start cleaning up the apartment. Listen to me. It's gonna be fine, all right? Trust me. Go. Go. and help clean up. Okay. Where are you going to take him? I'm going to dump one of them on the waterfront. Marino's brother should go to the hospital. I'll come with you. No, you got to stay here. Clean up all the blood. And don't answer the door for anybody, okay? Okay. You got blood on your face. My father's house in the country is empty. I think we should leave for there. I can't stay here any longer. It's too dangerous. Love me, Sophia. That's all I ask of you. Them. I want to see Moreno. Oh, great. Another brilliant idea. We warned you, and you wouldn't listen to us, and now you almost got us killed. I did what I thought was best. You went straight to Moreno, the guy who probably ordered the murders in the first place. 
Listen to me. No one is ever going to take anything away from us again. Are you listening to me? No one is ever going to frighten us again. I'm taking over. I'm the head of the family. Johnny will help us. No, I don't want to talk to him. It was just an inquiry. Yeah, he offered me a job as a croupier. Okay, all right, thanks. Teresa! Yeah? I was right. Nicky Diamond is running the main casino, and he's living in my high roller suite, the bastard. Okay, no. Yeah, but that's good, because it means I can get in real easy. Now, are you sure the chips are still there? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, good. accident. I've had keys cut to my father's house. Seems you and Teresa have thought of everything. I'm not doing this for Teresa. I'm doing it for you. Don't draw away from me, Cynthia. Please. Please get up, don't do this. It's not inconvenient at all. I'll be here. There's no problem. Yeah, she's here. Well, I hear. Grazie. Who was it? It's the commissario, the policeman from Palermo. Where is he? Here, in New York. He wants to talk to us. Are you sure about this? Care of Mama. Okay. All right. Goodbye, Sophia. Sophia, change your mind. I don't want to make the police suspicious. You have the address to my father's house. I'll be there.
Now you gotta remember, they got security cameras that can count the fillings in your teeth. Mom and Rosa, as soon as you see we're collecting, bring the bags. Okay, hurry, right, hurry. All right, you two, you're gonna play the slots. Rosa's gonna show you how. Please keep your eye on her. Make sure she doesn't get lost. Well, fine, Mama. Teresa. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Watch her. Rosa, Rosa, die, die. No ordinary gambler can come up to this floor. Lyra! What? Ring the doorbell. Why? Ring it. All right. Who is it? It's me, it's Moira. I I've come for my clothes. Are you crazy? Nothing here belongs to you. Wrong, pal. Everything does. This is crazy. I don't keep any cash here. That's right, Nikki. You, you don't know, know nothing. Just... Well, what are we here? Hey, look at that. It's new. I don't have the combination. Look, just let yourself out. Open it. I don't keep any cash. <laughs> Get up. Get up! Open it. Okay. And don't try any of your tricks, Nikki, because I know all of them. Just open it nice and easy. Was that so hard? Wait. Nice looking, huh? Yeah. And every one of them's worth thousands. Here, Nikki. Buy yourself some pants. Thank you. Thank you. Mrs. Luciano, you visited Mr. Tony Moreno yesterday afternoon. Yes, with Signora Luciano. We stayed about an hour and then we left. They all went to a concert. You know Benjamin Moreno? Moreno's brother? No, I've never met him. Oh, you won't have the pleasure, Signora. His body was found last night, unfortunately, separated from his head. The second corpse was discovered in the trunk of the same vehicle. I don't understand. Well, according to Mr. Moreno, there was or is some kind of vendetta between your family and... You may be unaware that my family were all murdered. Signora Luciano, I think that the man who killed your children came to New York using the papers of a John David Taylor who was found murdered. Has anyone by that name approached you? His real name is Luca Carola. He's the adopted son of Pietro Carola. We believe that he not only murdered your children, but also his adopted father and a young hitchhiker, John Taylor. Mrs. Luciano, that picture was taken right outside this apartment block two days ago. Have you seen him? Is he threatening you? Look at me. Answer me. He's not been here. Is this your incentive to keep quiet? It's an estimate of the money hidden away by Carola. As his sole beneficiary, Luca Carola is very rich. You deserve your justice, but if you take it, you're no better than he is. So I suggest that you help me find him. I'm terribly sorry, I can't help you. Do you swear that Luca Carola never came here? Grazie, commissario. And may God protect you. 
Oh, yeah, sugar. Three million dollars. One, two, three. Lucky. One million once, twice. I'm sorry. Without Mr. Diamond's personal okay, I can't cash that amount. Why don't you call him, honey? Or Mr. Luciano's girls. He's been playing a private game in his suite all night. Suite 21. Oh. You could cover it. Pay. Check on Mr. Diamond for you, just to make sure it's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We really have to go, Grandma. Oh my God, she won. I told you not to bring her here. I told you. Mrs. Diamond? Oh, my God. I'm gonna get out of here. Hey, you win a jackpot, sugar. No, take it. Right here. Come on, Grandma. Come on. Oh, Grandma. We did it. We did it. We did it. I can't believe we did it. Five million. Five million. Johnny, what did Nikki say? Was he mad? I'm worried he's gonna come after me. I wouldn't worry about him, Moira. Really? Would you tie him up good? Permanently. Permanently? That photograph doesn't do her justice. She is, as you say, very beautiful. And, and almost a bride once. She's a good cook, sweet natured, and as you said, very beautiful. I will obviously have to discuss this with my son. Michael is a very strong-minded young man. And to be honest, Signora, without a very big incentive, I doubt that he'd be willing to consider any arrangement as long-term as marriage. But um, he was very taken with you. You're also a very beautiful woman. Thank you, but I can't give you any grandchildren. What I'm prepared to give you is your request, an incentive. In return for your protection, we will get access to Corolla's fortune. Wow. That does make a difference. You may have a deal, Signora Luciano. If you need my car and driver, they're at your disposal. Thank you. May I keep this? Yes, that's for your son. Okay. Senor. Michael, are you leaving? Yes, I am. I hope to see you again very shortly. How old is she? Too old. Sit down. Her name is Rosa. What's this? Your future wife. Take a look. She's a picture. She's also Luciano. So with their companies, plus Carola's fortune, it's an offer we can't refuse. Sophia's here. Gotta be worth millions. Please. How long has she been here? Sophia! Sophia! Sophia, I'm in my mid. Took the van. Sophia. Mm. So do you like my house? I love it. It's a palace, Johnny. Isn't he sweet to me? Exactly. 
If you're making dinner, I need your help. I couldn't find any wine. Could you get us some? In the cellar. I'll be right back. You got a wine cellar? I have everything! Listen, all of you. His name is not Johnny Taylor, but Luca Corolla. Oh. He's oh. Corolla's son. According to Pirelli, he killed not only his father, but my babies. 89, my father's best. Have they told you about the casino, Sophia? Yeah. No, we'll leave the stories for later. Well, you go. You leave your women to finish dinner. All right. Feels like we're a real family now. Coming down, so keep smiling. Mara? What? Talk a lot like you usually do. Okay. Teresa, smile. <laughs> no, no, no. The head of the table. You must sit the head of the table in your father's house. I'll go help in the kitchen. No, Rosa, I'll go help Mama with the plates. You sit down. Toast to Johnny. Much more of this I can take. He's laughing and choking out there. You didn't use enough. There's more. Oh my God. Come with me. More wine, Luca. No, I don't. Mm. I don't feel so good.
Stop this and I will. Rosa, Rosa, Rosa. Who's in here? Who just came in? Rosa, is that you? Troye. Rosa, questa mignotta. Vuole che dica delle cose. È un. Rosa's not here, Luca. Just me. Sophia. We can take everything, Sophia. You and me. We can kill each one of them and everything will be ours. There's millions hidden in this house. And in my room, I have safety deposit keys to more money than you ever dreamed. Listen to me. Killed them, Charles. I don't know I can trust you. Because I love you, Luca. I love you. the children. Tell me about the children. I would have cut their eyes out, but they didn't see my face. Didn't see the devil they tried to whip out of my body.
Sophia. We want to say something to you. We'll never speak again of what happened in this house of Luca Carolla. We had the right to want justice. Each of us deserved to take it. But only you paid the ultimate price. You have his blood in your hands. We're asking you to be head of the family. In the name of my husband, wear this ring. Que Dio ti benedica, Vascenza, mi I asked for this meeting to beg of you that there will be no further bloodshed. We played no part in the murder of your family. We believe that Moreno and Castellano were the only ones involved. And we give you our solemn oath that he, Moreno, will be taken care of. Then, pray God, this vendetta is over, eh? And we are prepared to give you a fair and generous price for your companies here in the United States. I thank you, but I cannot accept your proposal. This is Rosa, my niece, Alfredo Luciano's daughter. We are happy to announce that she is to marry Michael Giancamo. And we ask you to be guests at their wedding. I'm sure you'd want to celebrate that the Luciano widows have such a powerful benefactor. We want to ensure that not only our American companies, but also those fraudulently misappropriated in Palermo will be returned to us. Perhaps his wedding gifts to the young couple. To make a lovely couple. Carola's fortune will be her dowry. She's so young, Sophia. Maybe we can wait. I like him. And we need the protection. I understand. But the Giancamas don't know what you're gonna do. Of course not. We're just five innocent and vulnerable women arranging a wedding. Gincano family, they wouldn't have lasted a month. He wanted me to kiss her ring, like some ordained don. She was evil eyes like the devil. Look at her. Huh. Oh, sorry. Sorry, excuse me. Sorry. Oh my god, I almost spilled it on Michael's dad over there. You know, Vito Giancamo's been a widow for many years. No, really? Oh, come on, he's so old. He'll take good care of you. You think so? I think so. I'm gonna go talk to him. He's not that old. What's this woman say? Oh, 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 yes, yeah. Okay. He's gonna be the first to leave. Sophia, Mama, Signor Musetti would he would like to make his apologies. Oh. Oh. Well, one more toast to the Luciano family. No, no, please. It's been such a memorable day. Oh! 